ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭ್ಯಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಹಾಲಯಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಾಯ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಸಹನಾವೋತು ಸಹನೋ ಗುಣಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿಹಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತುಮಾಭಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಚದೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಸುಬಂತಾದಿರ್ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತು ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತದ್ವೀಪ ಮೇ ದಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಚತುರ್ಮುಖ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗೇವ್ ದಿ ಯಜ್ಞಾಸ್ ಹೌ ಹಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದಿ ಯಜ್ಞಾಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಜಾ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಹ ಯಜ್ಞ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಸೃಷ್ಟ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದಮ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪುರಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಚತುರ್ಮುಖ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಉಚ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಸೇ ಅನೇನ ಅನೇನ ಯಜ್ಞನ ಸಹ ಯಜ್ಞ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಸೊ ವಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಅನೇನ ಯಜ್ಞನ ಪ್ರಸವಿಷ್ಯಧ್ವ ಮೇ ಯು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ಪುರುಷ ಬಹುವಚನ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟೈನ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಅಟೈನ್ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಷ ವುಷ್ಮಾಕಂ ಇಷ್ಟ ಕಾಮದು ಕಸ್ತು ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೀವ್ ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಫಾರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಸೊ ಕಾಮ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ನೈಮಿತ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿ ವೇ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಶಿಯಲಿ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ so this is the reason he has created yajna along with the praja and he taught them katham so how is it so katham uh, yajna so how how is it that we will get what we want ishtakamudu so he explains further in the next shloka devan bhavayata nena se deva bhavayantu vah parasparam bhavayanta shreya parama vapsyata ಅನೇನ ಯಜ್ಞನ ಅನೇನ ಯಜ್ಞನ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ತೇ ದೇವಾ ತೇ ದೇವಾ ಅನೇನ ಯಜ್ಞನ ಭಾವಯಂತು ಸೊ ದೇವಾನ್ ಭಾವಯತ್ ಸೊ ಅನೇನ ಯಜ್ಞ ಅನೇನ ಯಜ್ಞನ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇವಾನ್ ದೇವಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಅನೇನ ದೇನ್ ಭಾವಯತ್ ಸೊ ವಹ ಭಾವಯಂತು ದೇವಾ ವಹ ಭಾವಯಂತು this is a separate sentence te deva how once you use this yajna they will become pleased so you please them with the yajna anena yajnena devan bhavayata devan devan bhavayata so bhavayata again same issue i have this uh, since then many of the times we see prathama ekochana my typing is prathama ekochana although i say something else so uh, devan bhavayata lotlakara madhyam purusha bhuvachana so may you all please so there are many meanings of bhavayata this is uh, bhudhatu nijanta actually it is ಚುರಾದಿ ಗಣ ಭೂಧಾತು ಸೊ ನಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ವಾರ್ಥೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಅ ಬೆಟರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಗಂಭೀರಾನಂದ್ 
you uh, propitiate or please the devas through these through this yajna anena yajnena devan bhavayata anena yajnena anena yajnena devan bhavayata then following that what will happen te devaha when they are pleased te devaha vaha bhavayantu so let them please you let them actually here please you by what by nourishment so let them give you vruddhi and thereby uh, so earlier it was said may you attain vruddhi how so once you please the devas they will give, give something in return when they are happy they will see because there is a dependency devatvam they have attained devatvam because they want fame and they want sukha but still they are dependent on your ahuti because uh, hunger is still there although devas have more sukha and it is easier to get sukha so devatvam can be earned by by any jiva up to indra or even hiranya garbhyam hiranya garbha one can have association with in uh, in another janma another janma another loka so all the, the indra indra loka you can go to indra loka and get indra padvi if you do uh, several ashwamedhas so uh, these ashwamedhas are difficult to do and uh, we have seen in purana katha how indra uh, tries to create trouble because indra indratvam is a padvi indra somebody who finishes the target will get indratvam he will become the next indra so he indra is worried about his own seat and whatever ahutis you are giving indra takes those ahutis also whichever in yajna whatever is offered all these devatas agni devata vayu devata all these uh, other uh, deities also take offerings and in aitareya upanishad it is said that devas devatvam is not the goal it is not purushartha it may give you more sukha but it is also limited and worse yet even while being devas they are dependent on others for ahuti for for their anna for their hunger to be satisfied they need offerings so when you offer through yajna you offer something then they will be pleased they they will be their hunger will be satiated and once that happens they will nourish you by offering because they can bless they have to retain their power and that can come only when you feed them so it's a um, there is a paraspara sambandha paraspara uh, there is a dependency we do some seva and take something in return so this is how the dependency is created between devas and manushya so anena yajnena devan bhavayata te devaha vah bhav bhavayanti let them let them please let them nourish you by giving you whatever you want therefore ishtakamaduk yajna is ishtakamaduk because uh, through yajna you can get what you want from devatas and there are parasparam bhavayantaha bhavayantaha is prathama bahuvachana of uh, shatranta pada so parasparam bhavayantaha avapsat avapsat you can see tavatam uh, jathasatam dhvam so uh, and uh, this tha is uh, actually it is uh, so you can see sya also you can see sya here and uh, in lot lakara you will get this in shreya param avapsyath may you attain shreya so shreya will go in second case bhavayanta uh, param uh, parasparam bhavayanta so both devas as well as uh, you you all in plural so bhavayanta all these who are uh, are dependent on each other devatas who are dependent on manushyas and manushyas who are dependent on devas may you 
nourish each other nourish each other and the those who are nourishing each other those of you who are nourishing each other uh, so uh, it's a little difficult to so this will this will translate as nourishing those parasparam uh, mutually uh, mutually nourishing each other may you attain shreya so that's how this will work may you may you all attain param param shreya param shreya is moksha really but kramena if you have kamas through kamya karmas you get whatever you want and then outgrow the kamas thereby uh, kramena shreya param shreya you will reach there so uh, param uh, parasparam bhavayantah santah so uh, plural therefore bhavayanta santah shreya param shreya avapchata may you attain param shreya parasparam bhavayanta santah param shreya avapsyath so you will attain so you will attain this is lrit uh, lakara so sya, you can see sya here so you will attain uh, uh, you will attain so this is uh, uh, lat, uh, lrit lakara and you kartari prayoga so you see uh, uh, and parasmai pada pratyay you see ta uh, i said ta tamji actually i wanted to say tiptas ji tiptas th so that th that you see here is uh, madhya purusha bahu vachana aap dhatu avapurvaka aap dhatu and sya is rit lakara so you can see sya so anena devan uh, anena yajnena devan bhaveta te devah va bhavayantu and parasparam bhavayanta santa param shreya avapsyata may you attain uh, the param shreya moksha finally but kramena kincha moreover further in the explanation katham he is saying ishtan bhogan hi wo deva dasyante yajna bhavitaha sair dattan apradha yai bhyo yo bhungte stena eva sah so ishtan bhogan hi vah devaha dasyante yajna bhavitaha taihi dattan apradaya ebhya yaha bhungte stena eva sah so whatever they give you see it, it is cyclical you of you give something through yajna they bless you with food or whatever now considering food you have offered food and you want food they will give you more food they will multiply it basically say if you go to tirupati you put a little kanike a little amount you done it you will get multiple times so there is a lot of rush people want money wealth so tirupati is always crowded because dhana artha is a main purushartha all that is for kama of course uh, but artha itself becomes kama for artha is also one type of kama so other temples may be empty but if you say that the bhagwan will give you wealth tirupati venkatesha people will flood there and what is needed really really people need food to survive basic necessity is food so here uh, which is unavoidable for devatas also so devatas also hunger is the basic uh, necessity and even for a sanyasi hunger cannot be avoided so he had to uh, he has to take to bhiksha and that is the only uh, thing that he has to follow really for himself so istan bhogan hi vah deva dasyanti yajna bhavita so you take bhoga as any bhoga whatever is ista whatever is needed but if you take the example of food which is easier to understand if uh, prasada you have got see it is an attitude of ishvara uh, arpana buddhi so yajna in karma yoga is also yajna you offer karma that is another yajna so it need not be only uh, 
offering unto the home kunda so even eating food is also yajna but every karma done as an offering to lord is karma karma yoga and that becomes yajna and here it is cyclical as to once you offer food for example and you get food in return then that food if that food also you don't offer and share and consume it yourself then what happens that person is called as a thief that is what is said here so one who experiences anything in in food it is clear one who partakes of food which has come from blessings all food has come from our punya itself it may not be visible now let's say i have not done any punya karma now but still i keep on getting food it is because of my earlier punya then this food if i don't share further if i don't offer the lord i don't do that yajna giving it back to the lords who have given me then i i will not get further i'll not get because i am a thief i'll be given danda so it becomes papa whatever you are are getting if you don't share then that becomes papa that is the basic idea here so ishtan bhogan hi vah devaha devaha dasyante basic sentences devaha dasyante will give they will give what they will give ishtan bhogan ishtan bhogan dasyante and devaha yajna bhavita yajna bhavita deva who which do all devatas give keep on giving you whatever you want no yajna bhavita those who have been pleased by your yajna now they have got something see they don't keep whatever you offer devatas don't keep they give it in return they definitely do bless you so you can't hold back it can't be a one way uh, traffic you know so therefore whatever they have got they multiply it and give it back to you in the form of rains in the so it is said that in the form of rain and then food so we pray for all sorts of uh, bhogas through all sorts of means how it comes to us we don't know but it will come come and reach us whatever karma phala is due at a particular time that will come and reach us this is the order so yajna bhavita devaha ishtan bhogan dasyante he so yajna bhavita hi devaha ishtan bhogan dasya to whom so vah vah dasyante here vah they offer to whom so shakti bahu vachana we can say he is sins we can say sins or we can even say uh, indeed and taihi dattan taihi dattan what what are these bhog whatever is consumable for you taihi dattan ebhya i think this vah can also go in chaturthi so i'll just mark as fourth case or third or sixth case taihi taihi dattan bhogan these bhogas which are ishta for you that has been given by them so taihi dattan bhogan apradaya so whatever is bhoga dattan ap ebhya apradaya e ebhya taihi dattan apradaya so because dattan whatever is offered that has to be apradaya lebanta so da pra purvaka a purvaka da so without offering without offering whatever has been given by them to them so ebhya to these to these devatas or to others also we can take but uh, basically to the lords yah bhungte yah bhungte who consumes for himself so bhungte one who consumes saha stena eva bhavati 
he is Stena means a thief. So he is a thief. Why? Because it has been offered by them and you can't keep it all. You have to give something in return so the cycle continues. So it's a dharma. So uh, even prescribed duties, these are dharmas and they are giving back runa. Whatever runa we have taken, they are being given back. Okay, so that's the twelfth shloka. Ye punaha, and then he says, on the ye punaha, on the other hand, on the other hand means in comparison to the stena, one who is a thief, one who is following dharma, what would he do? So ye punaha, what would those people do? Ye in plural, ye punaha, on the other hand. Those who are not stena, stay, stay those who are not, do not steal, steal mean what? You may say that this is due to me, I have earned it, you know, self-made people, there are many self-made people now. So, because we don't care how it has come to us, I have struggled and earned it. Yes, we have earned it, but we have earned it through punya, which and it has multiplied and come, come back to us. And if we don't share, then it will start declining. If not in this janma, in next janma. Therefore, offering back to, the, whenever you take food, you offer to the Lord. So, naivedya is done and then prasada is taken. You can't eat prasada without naivedya. So, every karma phala is to be eaten after offering that karma unto the Lord. That is karma yoga. So, yajna shishta shinas santo muchyante sarva kilvishayehi bhunjate te tvagam papaha ye pachantyatma karanat so yajna shishta shinaha santaha muchyante muchyante so others others on the other hand what, what what happens is they they offer it to the lord and therefore they muchyante see if you are a stena means stealing if a person if a person is stealing then papa will accrue so even not offering and partaking of bhoga becomes an act of stealing. So, papa is due and it will give some result maybe now or later but definitely it will give some result. Now, those who avoid this, how do they avoid it? By partaking of whatever is offered to, whatever has come to them, whatever has come to them, that is datta only. Even if you have earned it, it has been given by the lords, therefore, uh, it is Datta and that Datta we have to offer back and then partake. Even to partake that it has to be. Therefore, Prasada also, when you get Prasada also, generally people don't eat it. They share with neighbors, with friends. Prasada is also distributed because that also should not be eaten alone. Should not partake, be partaken also. Yajna Shishta is what? Uh, whatever is Shishta remaining. Remaining for what? Yajna. Whatever has been offered as a nevidya, so whatever has been given, and uh, uh, yajna, yajna ashi, ashi is one who partakes, eats. So ashana, as one who does ashana or bhojana of whatever is uh, shishta remaining from yajna. So yajna shishta shinaha, plural, santa, being those who partake shishta from yajna, so of yajna, muchyante, sarva kilvishayi, not, so stena, they, they are stealing, so whatever dosha is there in the food, once you offer to the Lord, whatever is dosha means, whatever uh, shortcomings are there in the karma also that is performed, so I am taking the example of food, yajna and any yajna, so yajna also, what is the yajna? Every prescribed karma is like a yajna and uh, this pancha yajna, this is so bhuta yajna, uh, all these yajnas which are talked about, they are all yajnas, uh, they, they are part of this. So, uh, brahma yajna, study of Vedas is brahma yajna, so then definitely yajna itself is yajna, nitya nemiti karma, shraddha ityadi are considered yajnas. So, all these are atiti pujanam, uh, taking care of uh, Guess, you know, atiti deo bhava, that attitude, teaching, whatever you know, you share, adhyapanam. So, Manasmriti says, adhyapanam, brahma yajyam, pitri yajyam, pitarpanam. So, tarpana, doing tarpana to uh, pitrus when they are 
gone. But when they are alive, doing their seva. So all this is yajna. Then Rishiruna, all these will go, Pitruna, Rishiruna by these. Otherwise, these will give some uh, doshas. And those doshas, how do you get freed from those doshas? By following the prescribed duty. So yajna shishtashinaha, who uh, uh, to partake of it only after, so they consume everything only after following their duties. That is the broader idea here. So after doing all the pancha yajna, whatever remains, after serving the guest, what remains, we eat. So this is this is how it used to be and this is how it is expected to be. Unfortunately, today we it is not followed much. Especially in cities it is not followed much. Modern culture rather, western culture. But how is it meant to be? Yajna, in fact, um, earlier when there were no... Uh, uh, hotels and things like that, chow trees were there, but people used to travel by foot and you know, bullock carts and other uh, slower modes of vehicles. So it would take several uh, days to reach their destination. And where do they stay? Where do they eat the food? So it is a duty, you, a person can approach any house, any house and then ask for food. And the duty of the householder is that the person should not even ask whenever the food is ready. The, the cook, uh, the uh, person who cooks, they should, I mean, the family should cook more considering guests are there. Otherwise, one yajna remains undone. It remains, you fall short of one yajna. So, people are happy to serve others because that reduces their papa or that takes care of one part of their duty. So, you are supposed to go out and announce if there is anyone hungry at lunch time, before lunch time, then serve them and then partake. So this is a yajna bhavita, uh, sorry, yajna shishta shinaha, whatever is left after such yajna, serving others, serving gods, etc. Santa, muchyante sarva kilvishai. So de sarva kilvish, kilvishai is papa. So sarva papa hi muchyate, whatever shortcoming is there uh, in anything that we have done by offering the karma to the Lord and karma phala also, what happens is a person is freed from papa. So muchyante, they, they are freed here in plural. Kilbi shayihi muchyate. So here although tritiya, we'll, we have to in English only from will work. So otherwise you have to say they are freed by papas. So papas free them. That will also is okay. Kartari. So there we see that the sarva kilbi shayihi, papas have a hold over us and it is personified. These papas are personified or kilbi are and they free us. Therefore, one is freed by all papa. But in English, that phrase may not look good. So, we say from from all papa. Muchyant is yajna. Santaha sarva kilvishaihi Muchyante <coughs> So ye ye atma karanat pachanti atma karanat heto ho So karana here is heto ho atma heto ho ye pachanti Pachant pachis those who eat those who uh, so pach you can say those who do bhoga ye atma karanat Pachanti te tu agham te papaha papa papa asya stiti papa so do, papi ityartha so uh, there is a uh, there is a arshadi vyach so that is uh, ach pratya brings in matu partha there so papa asya stiti papaha a person who has papa means one who is a papi that is the meaning of papa papaha ye Agham, ye papa ha, to agham, agham bhunjate. So agham bhunjate, they, uh, they partake only agha. Agha also means papa. So if you remember, uh, Krishna had addressed uh, Arjuna as he anagha. He anagha, who is, who does not have papa. So agham 
is uh, anagha is what agham na vidyate asya sa anagha and uh, in sambodhana he anagha he accepts. So one who has no papa, here he is, so that is a way to address, you know, you, you are a, such a person who does not do papa, so why would you do any of this? This will lead to papa, so he is addressing that way. So here agham is papa, so agham bhunjate, they are eating papa, eating papa means it's poetically said, it will lead to papa, because stene evasa. Therefore, it will result in Papa or Agha. Ye. Atma Karanat Nat Pachanti Te Ye tu so on. Ye tu Atma Karanat Pachanti Te Agham Bhunjate. Bhunte in singular, in plural, Bhunjate. So don't get confused that this is uh, singular, it is plural. Agam is karma. Atma karana te, atma hetu. For oneself. Atma here is reflexive for oneself. Not for shuddha atma. It's for oneself. That's the meaning here. Meaning without sharing. Only for oneself. One who cooks and eats or that is the meaning here. Without sharing. As in without offering unto the Lord. At least you offer to the Lord. He is not going to take the food away. So one good thing is that it is not like offering dakshina where you know you, you Go and offer something to Tirupati, you will be offering some something. But food, if you offer, you don't see that um, the the Lord is consuming. But with Shraddha, if you offer, Lord has consumed it. The, the way the Lord consumes is, is through partaking through smell. They they take it through smell. Itascha adhikrutena karma kartavyam jagat chakra pravritti hetuhu he karma. Why should uh, he is yasmat yasmat karanat karma jagat chakra pravrti hetu bhavati tasmat itascha so tasmat itascha means due to this reason also and due to this reason also adhikritena adhikritena means one who is adhikrita one who is ordained to do something means one who is an adhikari in something whichever karma one is adhikari based on varnashrama dharma adhikritena karma kartavya meva should be done why because so since karma is jagat chakra pravritti hetu, if karma stops, then the cycle will stop. It is this karma is cause for pravritti of jagat chakra. Even karma is cause for the chakra to continue. What chakra? The jagat. So the world will not continue if everyone stops doing karma. One has to, because world as in all the worlds will fall apart, they have, are interdependent. Kathamiti Uchyate. How is it so? That is explained that chakra is explained how the world goes around. The Vaidika perspective is explained here how the cycle continues. Across and this you have to take across yugas. So if you see that, okay, if I stop doing, will really rain stop? So we can see the effect, long term you can see the effects. But uh, should not take a very... Uh, small term scientific view. It should be taken across yoga. So you look at across janmas, then this will should make sense, at least for a for an astika. Annad bhavanti bhutani parjan yadanna sambhavaha yajnad bhavati parjanyo yajna karma samudhavaha annad bhavanti bhutani. So bhutani annad bhavanti. So you have to take it the other way around. Uh, instead of starting at this end, we can start from this end. Yajna karma samudbhavaha. Yajna, yajna itself is what the karma is. Uh, so samudbhava is means that which is a cause. Karma, uh, so karma samudbhava yasya. Yasya yajna sya sa yajna karma samudbhava. So yajna is karma samudbhava means what? Yajna is born of karma. 
so you take take the basic meaning yajna is that for which karma is the cause so yajna is karma yoga here karma is if you do karma then this yajna will continue whether this is uh, you know in uh, chinmaya ashram uh, i think uh, chinmaya ji started something called as jnana yajna what is that jnana yajna gita teaching gita or you know giving discourses publicly so those were all called as jnana yajna in many places it is called as jnana yajna uh, you see those that word continue uh, of course it has come from gita but i think chinmaya ji pub, uh, publicized it as far as i know so that jnana yajna is she started doing that karma that became jnana yajna there so yajna can be in any type any form of yajna need not be only that homa kunda yajna but here prescribed duties whatever is prescribed to your varnashrama that becomes your own yajna bhagwan will say it, it towards the end of gita he will say karma samudbhavah so that yajna is born of that karma whatever particular karma is ordained to you that leads to yajna if you do with that attitude as an offering unto the lord that karma yoga and yajnat bhavati parjanyah and if you take the direct meaning also yajnat bhavati parjanyah there are lot of rituals which are there for uh, in nitya nimittika karma also we ask for entire world to be blessed with rains timely rains not a, a, rains which will cause havoc timely rain so yajnat bhavati parjanyah so once this yajna is done meaning any karma which is done as an offering to the lord the lords are happy the devatas are happy when the devatas are happy they will bless so ishwara bhagwan is happy he will bless you with rains in those particular areas there will be timely rain and then yajna bhavati parjanyah parjanyad anna sambhava An- anna is born from parjanya so an- anna only when there are rain the agriculture will flourish we see all of that going for a toss we can see because we don't see people doing yajna any more as an offering unto the lord i have never seen anyone you know pray in public not anyone but rarely you see. would you really go to a hotel and then pray before eating food you wonder what are people going to say people don't do it at home home their own houses let alone outside so yajna is that attitude of yajna itself is not there karma yoga bahu dhuram so yajna bhavati parjanya parjanya anna sambhavah and what happens after anna is born so anna which is partaken by the parents that leads to praja so anna bhavanti bhutani anna bhutani bhavanti so all the beings are born so parents i, I am mean general term but uh, whether it is in animal kingdom or in you know in vegetation also you see that everything is born of so anna it, it what is anna for me may not be anna for someone else or for some other prani or for for vriksha even i consume oxygen and give out carbon dioxide the trees will consume carbon dioxide and give oxygen so there is a dependency everywhere but here you see anna uh, uh, parjanya anna sambhava and that anna which is consume take food whatever food is consumed that food itself becomes annamaya kosha and so on all these dhatus are born of the food itself food and water so whatever is consumed from that the bhutas are born because finally the effect is the seed and thereby bhutani anna not directly but whatever anna is eaten from that anna the uh, offsprings are born through their parents so anna bhavanti bhutani that is the sequence this is the cycle so katham uh, itascha adhikritena karma karte jagat chakra pravrutti hetuh karma so katham iti uchyate katham jagat ch- chak- katham karma jagat chakra pravrutti hetu bhavati that is answered here in this shloka uh, i think the this thing is simple i'll leave skip this anvaya tachya evam vidham karma kuto jatam ityah tachya tachya karma that and that karma 
what karma evam vidam of this type the karma that you are talking of about that karma kutaha jatam how is it born so you karma samudva yajna karma samudva but how does this karma come about to be you have given me the cycle uh, starting from one end annad bhavanti bhutani so you, uh, how does anna come parjanya anna sambhava okay how does an, uh, this parjanya come yajna bhavati parjanya how does yajna come yajna karma samudva comes from karma now this karma how does karma come about that is answered here कर्म ब्रह्मो भवन कर्म ब्रह्मोद्भवम विद्धि ब्रह्माक्षर समुद्भवम तस्मा सर्वगतम ब्रह्म नित्यं यज्ञे प्रतिष्ठितम सो इफ यू आस्क वेयर डज दिस कर्म कम अबाउट कैन आई डू एनीथिंग आई वांट एंड कैन दैट बिकम द ऑफर इन टू द लॉर्ड दीस डेज दैट इज हाउ द अक्रॉस अक्रॉस वेदांत इट इज गेटिंग डाइल्यूटेड एंड एनी कर्म आई इज टेकन एज यू ऑफर एनीथिंग टू द लॉर्ड हिल he will happily take so this is an attitude of a bhakta true you can offer anything bhagwan says but then why does bhagwan give you a list of things to offer you can't offer any so a person may ask you know let me uh, so stay in a so it is said so what if i am i am why only stealing what i have earned i am not offering you call me a steal uh, call call me a thief why don't i become a thief real thief anyway that stealing also i can offer to the lord that kind of you know, thinking can come about because any karma offered to the lord becomes karma yoga then let me offer uh, whatever i steal to the lord anyway he is not going to take it even if he takes it i'll give little so give some dana to tirupati and then multifold i'll get does not work that way it is where wherever karma is used in shastras that karma is vaidika karma meaning dharma karma is has another mean uh, word for karma whenever we see in shastras it is dharma so dharma based karma that karma which is prescribed ordained for a person in a particular varna ashrama that is the main karma if one cannot do that based on desha kala some other niyama will be there but they, these are also prescribed by shastras all shastras trace back to the vedas therefore this brahma brahma means veda brahma brahma does not mean this nirguna brahma it does not mean chaturmukha brahma also brahma meaning is uh, vedas so that's why brahmachari who achara is brahma who whose achara is veda veda patha that that person is called as a brahmachari so that uh, meaning of vedas is there for brahma here ब्रह्मोद्भव मीन्स वेदोद्भव दैट कर्म इज बॉर्न ऑफ वेदास वेदास टेल यू वॉट कर्म यू शुड बी डूइंग एंड सो कुत जातम कर्म इतुच्य और कर्म ब्रह्मोद्भव विधि मे यू नो नो दिस कर्म टू बी बॉर्न ऑफ वेदास एंड वॉट इज दिस ब्रह्म ब्रह्म अक्षर समुद्भव एंड वॉट इज वेदा वेदा इज अक्षरा vedas are made of this aksha, aksha basically it is born of akshara veda is is uh, tasya nishvasitam so veda is veda is the uh, is the breath of the lord ishwara's breathing and that's why vedas are said to be apaurusheya apaurusheya means it is not a purusha karya be it special purusha also so we for the sake of uh, argument or not to go into more details we accept that uh, vedas are created by ishwara but uh, really vedas are created as a manifest they are not created by ishwara they are manifest vedas are see with, they come from vidhatu vidhatu gives the result of veda means vedas are jnana jnana rupatmak so jnanatmaka these vedas which are jnana that jnana is the swarupa of bhagwan he you cannot create the swarupa so swarupa is there that's how it is satyam jnana anantam brahma and that brahma when he manifests as ishwara and becomes a creator that time he has to create using what will he create that creation is also explained how that creation comes about to be from vedas so that jnana he has he recalls how it was there in the earlier kalpa 
and then based on that he creates. So that jnana which is there in the Veda, Veda Rupa jnana that is already there in Bhagawan and it is said to be as his breath. How is it? His, it is not his breath literally. The, it is said to be his breath because it is as easy for Bhagawan to create as, uh, as breathing. It is that easy because jnana is already there. And in Vedanta further, it is also said that uh, he is not only a creator, a manifester, but really there is no real creation. The creation is only Jnana, Jnanatmaka. The Jagat is also Jnanatmaka, so we don't need a Upadana Karana. Really, uh, although it is said Abhinna Nimitta Upadana Karana, Nimitta Karana means the creation is by knowledge, so that is the efficient cause. So what is the material cause? Material cause also him, so abhinna. Although we say maya, maya is his own shakti. That shakti is abhinna. And when it is said that jnanena moksha, ajnana is taken away, there the swarupa ajnana is taken away. And that swarupa ajnana being taken away, there is no, no real creation. That creation is only jnana. So which is a, a much deeper idea, but what all I am saying is that this Ved, Veda, Brahma is Akshara Samudbhava means that it is always there. It is, it is, it has come from that infinity which never changes. And that infinity, that Akshara Samudbhava Brahma, this Veda has come from that. It has been manifested from that uh, Tattva, Vastu itself. So that Akshara can be considered as, uh, we will see what Bhashak, Bhashakara says. Uh, so, Rudvig Yajmana Yoscha Vyapara Karma. So, here is Karma Samudva, he said that the Vyapara is Karma, uh, and then that uh, he takes the Yajna, whatever is the Vyapara, taking the example of Brahmana who is doing Karma. So, Rudvig, so the, the Hota or the priest, and Yajmana who is, so that their Vyapara, their transaction is Karma, and the Yajna is born of that transaction. So, that is how he is saying this. Uh, Yajna Karma Samudva in the earlier shloka. Here, Tachya Evidam Karma Kuto Jatam. So, there is a Bhashya. What does it say? You want to see what is this Brahma Akshara. So, Brahma, Brahma Punaha Veda Akshara. What is called as Veda, that is Brahma. And Akshara Samudva means Aksharam Brahma. This Brahma is not this Brahma. This is Nirguna Brahma, which is Paramatma. So, Paramatma, Nirguna Brahma, or Saguna Brahma, who is Paramatma. Paramatma Samudva. So, Paramatma Samudva, source. Yasya, so, source or karana also, Paramatma Samudbhava Yasya Tat Akshara Samudbhavam. So, this Akshara is Paramatma here, whereas Akshara is Paramatma means Brahma here, and this Brahma is Veda. So, Brahma, so you can say Brahma, Brahma Samudbhavam. It will also work, because this Brahma and the next Brahma, which is Akshara, are two different, uh, have two different meanings. So, what it means really is Veda Brahma Samudbhavam. And karma vedod bhavam vidhi, that is the idea here. Tasmat sarvagatam brahma nityam yajne pratishtitam. And he says yasmat, yasmat sakshat paramatma akshat aksharat purusha nishwasa. So this nishwasa vat samudbhutam and easily like us as his breathing, Vedas have come out from paramatma himself. Sakshat from paramatma, Vedas have come in the form of jnana, they are there with him. And they have come from him, and Brahma has, Chaturmukha Brahma has given it to other Sahayajna. So, Samudbhutam, Brahma Tasma, that is this Tasma, because Tasma needs Yasma. What is the Karana? We don't know Yasma. Tasma Kasma, you can ask, therefore, wherefore, so wherefore he is saying Yasma, Sakshat Paramatma, Khyat Akshara, that Akshara, which is also called as Paramatma. That Nirguna Brahma is also called as Saguna Brahma from him. Purusha Nishwasavat, as easy as breathing, the way you breathe, effortlessly you breathe. Of course, unless there is some disease, we uh, breathe easily, so easily that we don't even know. There is no effort in breathing unless you are doing pranayama and you restrict the breath, breathing goes on. That's why you can easily go to deep sleep as well, thinking that. I will wake up without any issues because breathing will keep me alive. So, Purusha Nishwasavat, 
अक्षरात समुद्भूतम मीन सो इजिली इट हेज कम बिकॉज ही इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ ज्ञाना ही चित स्वरूप एंड फ्रॉम हिम ब्रह्म तस्मा दिस ब्रह्म वेद हेज कम फ्रॉम हिम तस्मा सर्वाथ प्रकाश कत्वा सर्वगतम सर्वगतम अभी सत् नित्यम सदा यज्ञ विधि प्रधान यज्ञ प्रतिष्ठित एंड दैट परमात्मा हु इज रिवीलर ऑफ एवरीथिंग सर्वार्थ प्रकाश कत्वा सर्वगतम ही रिवील एवरीथिंग दैट इज देर चित्स्वरूप सो ही रिवील एवरीथिंग मीन वॉट सिंस दैट परमात्मा हु इज ऑल परवेजिव ही मेक्स एवरी कॉग्निशन पॉसिबल ही इज इन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दिस प्रपंच He is in the form of the jivas, and all the indriyas that are available to the jiva through them. He is the one who makes this cognition possible. As being presiding deity, also he is there, and as a cognizer, also he is there. This is the complete meaning there. But sarvagatam api, although he is available everywhere in the form of everything, still where he is, he sat nityam. Always he is every available everywhere. Still, nityam sada this nityam always. Although so he says yajna vidhi pradhanatva because he is mentioned through yajna in Vedas through yajna he is mentioned as being attainable through karma yoga ityadi. Therefore yajna pratishtitam he is there in this yajna. You follow this yajna and then kramena reach Bhagwan. so this is the idea here yajna pratishtitam although if he is everywhere still is said to be there in yajna because pradhanyam is in yajna and we saw earlier bhagwan bhashya kara had quoted yajno vai vishnu that's why yajno vai vishnu that yajna is ishwara himself yajna pratishtitam that is the idea here so karma ब्रह्मोद विद्धि ऑल दीज आर व्हाट इज अ पंचमी तत्पुरुष ब्रह्मण उद्भव ब्रह्म उद्भव विद्धि एंड देन ब्रह्म अक्षर समुद भव विद्धि विद्धि विल हैव अनुवृत्ति एवरीवेयर तस्मा कारण तस्मा कारण तस्मा हेतु हो सर्वगत ब्रह्म सर्वगत अपी सो यू कैन से सर्वगत अपी ब्रह्म तस्मा ब्रह्म सर्वगत अपी यज्ञ प्रतिष्ठित ऑल दो ही इज देर एवरी वेर बट स्टील यज्ञ प्रतिष्ठित बिकॉज दैट इज द प्राधान्य तस्मा वाई बिकॉज ही इज नोन थ्रू यज्ञ यज्ञ वी हेव ट्रेस बैक यज्ञ कम्स फ्रॉम कर्मा एंड कर्मा हैज बीन सेट टू बी Uh, karma comes from vedas as in uh, instructions all these ordainment is there in the uh, in the uh, vedas and that veda is uh, bhagwan swarup it it uh, gnana it has come from gnana of bhagwan and therefore he is available in yajna yajne pratishtitam tasma brahma sarvati yajne pratishtitam we can say yajne pratishtitam vidhi also we can say it is possible both ways i'll leave it here प्रवर्तित चक्रम नानुवर्तुर्तुरीद्रिया रामो मोघम पार्थ स जीवती सो एवं प्रवर्तित चक्रम दिस चक्र विच इज टॉक्ट अबउट एस द इंटर डिपेन्डेंसी फॉर दि सैकल टू कंटिन्ू एवं प्रवर्तित चक्रम नानुवर्तयती युवर्तयती इह Here itself you have to do. You can't say push it on tomorrow and say that I'll do it. I'll do it. So uh, just so that so I'll just uh, mark a couple of cases here. So Brahmod Bhavam Vidhi. So karma is Brahmod Bhavam uh, Vidhi. So here, 
सो एवं प्रवर्तित चक्रम यह इह न अनुवर्तयति वन हु डज नॉट फॉलो वन हु डज नॉट फॉलो यह यह एवं प्रवर्तित चक्र दिस चक्र विच हैज बीन एक्सप्लेन्ड अर्लियर विच इज कंटिन्ूंग प्रवृत्ति इज देर चक्र प्रवृत्ति इज ऑल इज ऑलवेज देर इट इज कंटिन्यूअसली गोइंग ऑन एंड एवरी वन हू इज डूइंग यज्ञ देर बाय दी दाइकल इज कंटिन्ूंग एंड दैट कंटिन्यूअस चक्र विच इज गोइंग ऑन यह न अनुवर्तयति वन हू डज नॉट फॉलो दैट यह एवं प्रवर्तित चक्र न अनुवर्तति तयति इह न अनुवर्ति यह चक्रम इह सो यह कैन गो एनी वेर इह न अनुवर्तयति सह सह वॉट सह जीवती सह ही सो आई एम जस्ट गिविंग द बेसिक सेंड सह जीवती ही लिव्स ऑन नॉट दैट ही लिव्स ऑन ही सह हे पार्थ हे पार्थ सह अघायु इंद्रियाराम मोघम जीवती सो सह अघायु अघायु इज वॉट अघायु इज अ बहुरी एक्चुअली इन डिक्शनरी देर मे बी सम अदर वे ऑफ डिराइविंग दिस बट आई लाइक दिस बहुरी सह अघायु सन अघायु इज वॉट अघ अघ वी एव सीन पाप अघम 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 मीन्स पापम अघम पापम आयु आयु इज वॉट आयु इज जीवनम पापम आयु अगम इज इक्वल टू पापम एंड आयु इक्वल टू जीवनम सह सो दैट पर्सन इज अघायु मीन्स पापी हिज लाइफ इज फुल ऑफ पापा बिकॉज ही इज नॉट हेल्पिंग द चक्रा टू कंटिन्यू एंड देर बाय इंद्रिया राम वाई ही इज ही इज हैप्पी विथ हिज आराम आराम the word has uh, i mean meaning in uh, vernacular language region language also so indriya indriyani aram aramah yasya so one who has his resting places in indriyas he has sukha in indriyas indriya sukhi basically one who derives his sukha from indriya and he is there indulging only in his uh, satisfying his kama so therefore indriya aram i'll give it in uh, इंद्रियम से इंद्रियम आराम आराम वुड बी मैस्कुलिन सो आई डोंट थिंक इट कैन चेंज लिंगा सो इंद्रियम इंद्रियम एव और इंद्रिये आराम बोथ वेज इट शुड बी पॉसिबल इंद्रिये इंद्रिये सो इंद्रिय सुखे इंद्रिये आराम यो सो हिज इंद्रिय आराम and therefore aghayu his aishya is so aghayu hu sah indriya aramah indriya ramah aghayu hu jeevati moham jeevati so let me just check a good meaning for this what does bhashyakar say moham vrtha so moham is vrtha means uh, मिथ्या जीवन वृथा इट इज यूजलेस सो ही लीव्स एज इन यूजलेसली सो दिस विल मोघम जीवति दिस विल बी लाइक एन एडवर्ब टू जीवति हाउ डज ही लीव एज इन कंप्लीटली यूजलेस टू एनी वन ही इज यूजफुल ओनली टू हिमसेल्फ एंड इन द लॉन्ग रन ही विल नॉट रिमेन यूजफुल टू हिमसेल्फ ऑल्सो बिकॉज दिस विल लीड टू पापा एंड दैट सुखा दैट ही इज गेटिंग इट दैट विल ऑल्सो नॉट रिमेन सो दिस इज हाउ यह एवं प्रवर्तित चक्रम इह न अनुवर्तयति हे पार्थ सो हे पार्थ कैन गो हियर सह इंद्रिय इंद्रिय राम यू कैन इवन से इंद्रिय आराम सन इंद्रिय आराम सन अघायु मोघम जीवती सो दिस इज दिक्सटीन श्लोक विल सी मोर इन दस्ट पार्ट हाउ एनी क्वेश्चन
Anyone, any questions? No. Okay, I'll uh, stop here if there's no question. So I'll see you in the...